All right, welcome back to Slim Comics and more. Uh, my name is Sean. Um, so I, I got a couple packages that came in. I got my Midtown. I got my Midtown haul that came in, and I also got a package. So this one here, that one is actually a uh, a book I've been uh, wanting for a long time. Um, it's uh, one of the first books that I've ever bought. So if you guys have been watching my uh, my channel, I think you guys know what book it is, but um, I'm going to open my uh, package from Midtown here. Justin, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Hope everything is well with you. So I got my Midtown books came in. Um, I think this is for, I believe, July. I mean, June. What is it? Is it June something? <laughs> forgot it. Uh, last week's haul, I think. I'm not sure. Let me see here. What is what? Um, hmm. Even the receipt doesn't say. <laughs> Forgot which uh, which week this was. All right, here we go. All right, so this is Friday. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. Almost a weekend. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see here. Close that up. Okay, first book I got. And it's backwards. What is this one? They put it backwards because the barcode is uh, in the back. Okay, this is nice. This is um, the Electric Black. So this is, um, I believe this is a second printing. Uh, the first printing is like a reddish color, but this is a greenish color. This is a second printing to Electric Black. I believe this one has been optioned too. This is by uh, Black Caravan, issue number one. Yeah, I didn't pick up, um, I missed out on the, the first printing, but I got the second printing. Okay, next one. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, this is a. Uh, I'm looking forward to reading it. This is um. Okay, this is something is killing the children. Issue seventeen. Great series by uh, James Tynion. I believe this is still the origin of how. Um, Erica got into the got into the society. So yeah, it's a it's a great uh, great series. Let's see next one. Okay, this is a uh, looks like the variant. Yep. So this is the variant. It's like a virgin variant, but I believe it's also a glow in the dark. Yeah, she looks like uh she looks like uh she's gonna it's gonna glow in a dark cover. But uh nice cover. So uh, I am getting close to uh six hundred uh subscribers. Uh thank you to all my new subscribers. Um yeah, I'll be doing another giveaway when I hit uh over six hundred subscribers. Uh, yeah, if you haven't yet, if you're uh, new, uh, please click that subscribe button, um, like, comment. This is a um, this is a the Hemoth book. Okay, so this is MFKZ. It's a Behemoth book. I believe this is just uh, cover A. There's a lot of variants to this book, also. But uh, this one looks uh, pretty decent. Yeah, the art works nice on the inside. So yeah, this is a MFKZ from Behemoth Comics. Uh, Happy Tank also up there. Yep, six one six one nine label. Hey Johnny Funko, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. 
Gray man, how you doing? Hope everything's well with um, all of you guys. Yeah, it's a animated. Um, I believe it's an animated movie. I'm not sure if it's uh, either on Amazon or on Netflix. It's one of those uh, streams. Okay, next one. Okay, this is a new series from Dark Horse Comics. Uh, this is Black Hammer Reborn. It's a Jeff Lemire book. I'm not sure I forgot if this one was option too. So there's a lot of books that are option for movie or TV series. And uh, Jeff Lemire, he's a uh, he's also a great writer also. So this is um, a new series, Black Hammer Reborn from uh, Dark Horse Comics. RZA did the music. Nice. Flash by Night, how are you? Hope all is well with you. Nice of you to stop in on a Friday. Yeah, my uh, Mython books came in uh, actually today, so uh, might as well do a live stream today. And then also a package that came in, um, package that uh, I wanted this book for a while, but um, didn't really pull the trigger on. But uh, I finally got it. Um, my wife was uh, kind enough to um, give that to me as a Father's Day gift. Uh, yeah, I've heard of Black Hammer, still haven't, uh, read any of it, uh, has a Hellboy feel. Yeah, kind of like a Hellboy feel to it. It's, um, I haven't, I haven't picked up the first series, so meaning to pick that up. Okay, this one here. This is the Blue Flame, issue number two by Vault Comics. Uh, great read so far. Um, loving the the story. So this is by Cantwell, Gorm, Russell, and Oz. Was it Oz? Oz Main and El El How. But uh, yeah, it's a great book. If you uh, if you haven't got this one, um, yeah, I think um, it's a good read. Collectible Warrior, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Saw your uh, hunting video. Pretty awesome stuff. Uh, the next one is The Amazing Spider-Man, The Chameleon Conspiracy, 69. So this one is, I believe it's almost almost over. I believe it's almost uh, to its end. But, um, yeah, I'm slowly picking up reading uh, more of the Spider-Man books. And uh, this one's a pretty good read. There was a Black Hammer Justice League crossover. Yeah, there's a Black Hammer and Justice uh, Justice League crossover also, but um, I didn't I didn't really pick that one up. Okay, this one looks like a looks like a new one. What did I get? Okay, so this one is from Scout Comics. So this is a new series. Let's see here. So this is Claire and the Dragons. So it's a new series from uh, looks like Scout Comic. Yep, new series from Scout Comics. Looking forward to reading this one. This one looks pretty good. So it talks about um, this old man. He's a uh, he's either training this girl to uh, guard. Um, the city from the dragons and then the, the city is like kind of like uh don't believe in him and stuff like that so it looks like a good read claire and the dragons from scout comics okay this one here this is a pretty thick book oh okay stuck together okay this is a new one also there's a lot of new New, like, first issues coming out almost every week. Uh, this is Good Luck. 
This is another book from Boom Studios, issue number one. It looks interesting, so so I picked it up. It's a uh, issue number one by looks like uh, Matthew Ehrman and Stefano Simeon. Arts, arts, not bad. A little preview, but it looks good. Uh, looking forward to reading it. It's a new series. Okay. All right. So this one here. I didn't know I picked this one up. Um, I thought I didn't pick this up, but uh, looks like I did. This is um, Giga. This is Giga issue number four by Vault uh, Vault Comics. Covers by Adam Gorham. So yeah, I mean it's a, it's a good read if you like uh, big robots and stuff like that. And uh, this is uh, issue number four. I think I might be missing a few books from this uh, this haul, but I'm not sure which one I missed out on or didn't order. Oh, this one's okay. So this one here, this one is Gamma Flight, issue number one uh, by Marvel. From the pages of the Immortal Hulk. It's an interesting read, so had to pick it up. It's also an issue number one. All right. Did you pick up Spawn Universe? Um, yes, I did. I I think I just uh, picked up the cover A, but uh, I went back and got. Uh, another cover B, I think it's the, was it the, um, gunslinger cover. So I had to go back and get it. Okay. This one is, uh, this one's a nice cover. Uh, this one here is Philadelphia. That is a pretty wicked cover. This is a issue. Is it issue? It's on 14 right now. But that is a nice uh, Philadelphia cover. It's a vampire uh, vampire um, series. I think this one's also option for a TV series, also. But yeah. So yeah, this one's a nice cover, Philadelphia. I need Gamma. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. Uh, this one here, this is also another first issue. This is from Dark Horse Comics. This is Emojin of the, I think, Wording Way. Geeking out with Roscoe. How you doing, sir? Nice of you to stop in. I've heard of uh, Philadelphia. Is it? A, it's it's a pretty good read. It's like a vampire type of um, kind of like a vampire horror type of a book. Hey, Bill. How you doing? Nice of you to stop in, sir. Alex, Big Blue. How are you? Nice of you to stop in. So yeah, we will have the Gunslinger on um, the Gray Man's channel tomorrow. I believe it's a uh, 1 p.m. Central Time, my time. I'm not sure what is your time over there, Bill. Is it a uh, two hours um, behind me? Is yours at uh, 11 a.m.?
so I, I got my books. Um, I got my um, fire cover book. So hopefully they're they're good. Okay, this is backwards. Let's see what this one is. So if, if you guys haven't checked out the Gunslinger on the Gray Man's channel, uh, we do um, we battle out uh, covers. Evo's Comics, how you doing, Mike? Nice of you to stop in. Yeah, uh, nice of you to stop in. 11 a.m., okay. I picked up all the covers. Oh, okay. Yeah, cover, uh, cover Slingers is tomorrow. So if you uh, haven't seen it yet, go watch uh, the Gray Man's channel. So it's on every Saturday, uh, 1 p.m. Central Time. My, my time. Yep, fire covers tomorrow. So this is a new one. This is Batman Reptilian uh, from DC Black Label, issue number one, by uh, Garth Ennis. So he's a he's a gritty uh, gritty writer and a very uh, violent type. So yeah, uh, looking forward to reading this one. Uh, it's also by uh, artist is Liam Sharp. Uh, it looks pretty dark. You know, the, the artwork is pretty dark. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to reading this one uh, by Garth Ennis. Okay, am I missing anybody here? Let's see here. Uh, Bad Avenger, how you doing, sir? Nice of you to stop in. Hope all hope our living is well on a Friday for you. Uh, anybody else I missed? Let's see here. Okay. So it's like a uh, bedtime for the Waltons. <laughs> okay. Uh, right now it's what? 517. So it's um, you're six hours ahead. So you're about 1117 there. Yeah, nice of you to stop in, Mike. Uh, if you guys haven't yet, um, check out Evil's Comics. Um, he's got a lot of great uh, content. And uh, he's under a hundred subs, so go uh, go sub Evil's comics up. Uh, give him some uh, some more subs, some more love. Eleven a.m. Okay, uh, picked up the covers. Okay. See, I am uh, okay. I am happy. Arcade I just opened up. Okay, local mall, all right, right beside the comic book shop that recently opened, and me and my sister played tons of games. Nice. Killer Croc goodness. I always thought Garth Ennis doesn't work on superhero books. <laughs> Yeah, there's there used to be a lot of um, arcade stores, but um, a lot of them ran out. Five seventeen here. Okay, so you're you're the same time as my time. All right, next book I got. This is um, I think this is a new series again. There's always new series that pops up every week. Vinyl. So this is I believe this is the cover B that has uh, him wearing this kind of like a teddy bear mask heard this book is a uh, pretty violent also okay that that was cover b and this is cover a so that is cover a
So yeah, got both uh both covers. Looking forward to reading it. Yeah, I, I didn't want to watch all your uh I didn't watch all your video on this um this book Evils uh cuz I wanted to read it. <laughs> okay. Um if you guys haven't picked up Stray Dogs, Stray Dogs is actually a great read and it's been optioned, so so the the book issue one has gone up considerably considerably i guess uh stray dogs this is um the friday the 13th homage cover this is a uh, issue number five i think this might be the last um last book of a series i think but um yeah the last issue was a uh, really really good so yeah, this is the the homage cover to Friday the Thirteenth. Those those homage homage covers are pretty nice, actually. Uh, cubby B looks better. <laughs> Don't cause a spoil, okay? I'm hearing good things about vinyl and saw the first four pages from the back of the two moons. Yeah, it's um it's a pretty violent stuff from what I've uh, been hearing, but it's a good book. Yeah, Stray Dogs is good. So this is um that is a cover this is oh, this is um Third printing of issue one. Yeah, issue one, third printing. I think this is also another homage cover. I think it's a, uh, oh, forgot what homage was this. You guys know what, what movie this is? I think it's uh, one of the vampire movie, I think, right? It's a homage cover to uh, one of the, the movie. S Scream, okay. Everybody's got Scream. <laughs> All right, yeah, so that's uh, issue one, the third printing. Oh, Lisa Noble, how you doing? Uh, nice of you to stop in. Uh, Gary B., how you doing, sir? Nice of you to stop in. Hope everybody's doing good on a Friday. All right, and um, yeah, this is my, my last book from this haul. I might be missing a few, but... Can always go back. This is a Spawn Universe. This is a cover A. This is a Jeffrey Scott Campbell, the She Spawn, the She Spawn cover. I also went back and picked up um, a few more covers. I did get the the Gunslinger cover. So yeah, um, Spawn's Universe. All right, let's open up this. Um, this package here. So this one here, uh, it's, it's actually a uh, a Father's Day gift from my wife. Uh, let's see if it's. But it's also a book that, um, if you've been following me, it's also a book that I first picked up when I was like a kid. Love all the horror covers. Yeah, um, I might go back and pick up some of the horror homage covers from uh, Stray Dogs. Okay, so this one here. 
Uh, at least they packaged it nicely. Wanna... Oh man, oh my. I'm gonna get a scissor here. Oh, nice. Okay. So yeah, this is, um, this is like a sentimental grail for me. Um, this is actually the first book I ever bought when I was a kid. Like when I was, uh, I think around, what was it? Like 12 or 11 years old, uh, when I was in seventh grade. So this one looks good. Yeah. So this one here, this is Wolverine 17. So uh, this is the first book I ever bought. And uh, this is actually my Father's Day gift from my wife. So uh, I want to thank my wife. Uh, thank you. So yeah, uh, 9.8 Wolverine 17. Yeah, first book I ever bought on the, on the rack. So uh, when we were a kid, um, after track and field, uh, we went to this uh, grocery store. And uh, this is the book that caught my eye. And this is the first book that I ever bought. So happy to have it in a high grade now. So 9.8. So yeah, love it. Yeah, it's a cool cover. Hey, dude, without fear, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Yeah, she um, she said I could get it, so that's what I got. Yeah, my wife knows that um, I love comics, so uh, yeah, she she helps me a lot. Yeah, 9.8. So my uh, sentimental grail. So, yeah, going to keep that. Uh, RK Pop, how are you doing, brother? Nice of you to stop in. Hope all is well with you. You can't remember the first comic book I uh, uh, that you ever bought. <laughs> yeah. So that is my sentimental grail. It's uh, actually for uh, my Father's Day gift also. So, yeah, it looks uh, it looks good. It looks like uh, everything's nice and sharp. So yeah, John Burns cover. Yep, it's a John Burns cover. Um, Archie Goodwin story. So Klaus Jansen art and John Byrne art uh, covers by John Byrne. So yeah, so that is my uh, my grail, my sentimental grail. Yep. So um, got some more packages. I'll probably just open some more packages here. So yeah, my uh, sentimental grail. That's a. It's actually an awesome book by John Burns. Okay, so we've got some mail call. Might as well open it now since since I'm here. Yeah, it's been raining all day. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to rain uh, all day again. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes today. Hopefully there's no uh, tornadoes because uh, when we drove home on Sunday last week, there was a tornado tornado that touched down Naperville, and uh, it's like uh, only about 10 minutes away from our house, so we got lucky.
Yeah, but Naperville was on the news um, of a tornado that hit that area, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty bad. See, I know the feeling of getting uh, something from your past that means something. Like the whole, yeah. Um, so I, I'm not worried about um, what I uh, what I bought or what I am hoping to get in the past. So that is actually um, a great book to have. Hurricane on the way here. Oh, um, where are you at, Mike? Are you down south, east? They don't have pull tabs. Get some pull tabs. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh, you're in Houston. Okay. Um, yeah, down in Texas, Gulf of Mexico, there's a lot of uh, hurricanes there. Hey, Angel, Pages, Films, and Plastic, how are you? Uh, I just uh, opened up my uh, Midtime books, and I got my my grail so this is uh, my sentimental grail my first book that i ever bought as a kid so lucky to um lucky to have it now in a high grade and um actually a father's day gift also natural disasters in phoenix um it's like hot there isn't it like 110 degrees there bill <laughs> So many people showing off goodies today. Uh, Tina, how are you? Nice of you to stop in. Yeah, there's a, there's been a lot of the channels that are going live today also because it's Friday. And this seller needs to put some pull tabs. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, it's a. Uh, my wife said I can get it, so um, yeah, we went ahead and uh, and got it. Uh, pull tabs would be easier. Oh man, okay. Okay. All right. So this one here. This is Wonder Woman issue number one. This is a uh, this is a variant. Uh, exclusive members. Uh, no, okay. Yeah, this is the variant. Um, kind of like a foily, foily type. And then I also got the regular cover. Pretty good read. Not bad. Uh, I got uh, one more, so I got like two but um not bad uh a new different type of a uh, wonder uh wonder girl wonder girl not wonder woman it's wonder girl wait, 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 wait. yeah oh you live in uh south alabama okay we just had a bad tropical storm last week summer to the south oh man okay Yeah, in the south, there's a lot of hurricanes and, like, tropical storms uh, near the Gulf of Mexico and stuff. All right. Uh, got two more to open, so let's uh, open it up. Love the grandpa foil. Oh, that's a grandpa foil. Okay. Holographic cover. Yeah, it's a nice cover. Yeah, my wife, she, um, yeah, when I first, uh, when we we first dated, it's like, um, she, she didn't really know that I uh, collected comics. <laughs> so then, uh, later on I told her and she's like, okay, what did I get myself into? <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, this one, uh, no pull tabs, too. Come on. Pull tabs. Easier. Alex, you're back. Yeah, tomorrow is supposed to rain again. Man. Uh, last night was a uh, really hard rain. Right now it stopped, but it's supposed to start up probably tonight again. Okay. Wow, more. Man, it taped everything. Okay. Circumstances, how are you, sir? Nice of you to stop in. But, the sp uh, but she is a person. <laughs> yeah, that's all that matters. Uh, rainy weekend for me. Okay. Uh, they should put pole tabs on these. All right, almost there. Yeah, okay, I guess that's it. Okay, so this one, this is the Marvels. I missed out on the first issue, so I had to go back, go back and get. Hey, Free Key Louie, how you doing? Nice of you to stop in. Hope everything's well with you, brother. So this one here. The Marvels, um, another Alex Ross, um, Kurt Busiek, uh, Yildare Sinar, and Richard Eisenman. So um, covered by Alex Ross. Missed out on this first issue, but it has um, new appearances, of first appearances of a couple of new characters in this one. So I had to go back and uh, go pick it up. So I bought, this was in a lot of uh, two sets. So I got two uh, two sets. Yeah, two sets. All right. Okay, one more to go, guys. This one. What's this one? I think this is a Midtown. So I think I know what this one is. This was, um, here, I'll open it and show you guys. This, I believe, is a Venom. Some Venom books. Okay. Yeah, Ross is awesome. I love uh, his um, artwork. Salacious Rum, how are you? Nice of you to stop in. So Salacious Rum is, uh, I believe, you're in the UK, right? I need to jump on Midtown next time. Okay. Yeah, they have some pretty good books. Flash Sale Rocks. Have been wanting to move to the United States, but along came COVID. Oh, okay. So, um, Angels in Puerto Rico. Hey, Passport One Comics, how you doing? Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Passport uh, Pass Point One Comics, um, go check out uh, Pass Point One Comics. Where are you guys eating on Sunday? Um, <laughs> uh, We'll have to see. Um, not sure yet. Uh, we always try something new because um, my kids, I want the boys to try different things. So we will see. Uh, 
I gotta rip it open, sorry. So yeah, I think um, Efren just passed 400, 400 subscribers. So um, yeah, check out Efren Pass Point One Comics. Uh, you are in Worcestershire, okay, England. Oh, you're in England, okay. Okay, Let's see this one here. So I went back and got some of the Venom. 200 or legacy 200 or issue 35 so this is the first um cover a so i went back into cover a so the the main point of this book is that um dylan brock he becomes venom but at the end um eddie and venom says we are venom so um yeah it's kind of like a speculation book, but I also got this uh, cover also. Nice, uh, nice cover. Forgot who did this one. But it's one of the variants. There's a lot of variants to this one. But, yeah, those are the books that I picked up. Sub to you, Passport One. All right, nice. Yeah, I think Passport One um, passed 400 subscribers recently. That's the cover I wanted. Uh, this one here. Yeah, this is a pretty nice cover. And this is just a... That's just a regular cover. But it's a it's a thick book and um a price is pricey. Yeah, the only Venom books I got are the Agent Venom run from uh, Rick Remender. Okay, and some by Colin Bunn. Nice. I like Colin Bunn. Uh, he's a great writer, also. Okay, so um, yeah, my next um, video will probably be another video of me going through my boxes. Um, I've been uh, collecting for a while now, and uh, my room is getting filled up with books. Um, I have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, Ooh, man, I got like 17 short boxes in like three or four. Got like five long boxes, and that was just in a year and a half of collecting comics. So that is a lot of books. Let's see where we at. Um, I love how the thick books feel, like Spawn Universe. Um, yeah, those are pretty thick books. Addicted. Okay, Colin Bunn is one of my uh, Colin Bunn is one of the few uh, dope comic people will have at oh Kansas City Comic Con. Nice. Yeah, I heard um, Chicago Wizard World is actually coming on October fifteenth through the seventeenth. So uh, three days uh, convention. So I might um, get tickets for that convention, the Chicago Wizard World. Need to add a collection den additional to the house. Yeah, my books are piling up. <laughs> and uh, every week there's always like a number one issue that comes out every week. So it's, um, yeah, kind of <laughs> kind of hard to catch up. Going to have to expand your, <laughs> yeah, I know. My room is getting smaller and smaller. I raised 616 subs, and I have never made a live or recorded video. Nice. It's weird. <laughs> it's nice, Angel. Congrats. Is there a group for this addiction? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Comic is addictive. I have heard of uh, 
Bun, but not aware of his work without looking him up. Um, he's more of like a um, kind of like a horror type, I believe, a horror type writer. Uh, his books recently have been kind of like a horror type. Talking. Uh, Circumstances we meet every Wednesday. Okay, local comic shop. All right. Um, let's see what else. But yeah, uh, yeah. Just a recap. Uh, this is my sentimental grail. Wolverine issue seventeen. Bought this when I was a kid, and uh, now lucky enough to um, lucky enough to have it. Uh, recap on my books. Got the Venoms. That's a nice cover. I like that Venom cover. But yeah, it's a very thick book. Colin Bun and Basilix. Yeah, Basilix, um, I picked that up too recently, which is fun. And yeah, it's a great read too. Basilisk. All right, just recap what I got uh, really fast. The Marvels. This one has a um, couple of two, I believe, Two new characters in this one. The Marvels. And this is the other cover. This is the variant. This is a uh, cover C. Look, uh, yep, cover C. And I did pick up Spawn. I might go uh, go to the LCS and see what other ones they got. But uh, this is a nice book to get is uh, Stray Dogs. So this is um, issue number one. This is a third printing. And I got this one. This is a Friday the 13th. This is um, part five. This is a Friday the 13th homage cover. I thought I got cover A, but um, I don't see it. Weird. And vinyl. Her, this is a pretty good book also. That's the cover A, I believe, and this is the cover B. It has the teddy bear mask there. Okay, let's see here. I have reviewed the book Bad with Names. Yeah, the vinyl, um, heard it's uh heard it's pretty good vinyl. Comic book and action figures collecting is a, a, a good addiction. Yeah, it's a good addiction. Um, I'm still trying to find that um, uh, the what, the blue uh, creature from the blue, the Black Lagoon. So I'm still trying to find um, going to different shops and try to find something for you, uh, Angel. Thanks, Mike. Uh, curious how many books uh, do you pick up per average week if you had to guess? Uh, close to like 18 books. <laughs> That's probably the average is like 18, sometimes more. Yeah. No joke. Uh, gotta have a good weekend. Okay, uh, bye, Justin. Um, have a good weekend. Enjoy your Friday. Thanks for stopping by. Happy I got the whole Stray Dogs run. Uh, it finished well. The Friday the 13 homage is already hitting. Oh, 15 bucks. Wow, man. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't uh, put in cover A for me. Uh, unless they ran out. But I did. I know I did. I uh, I did order the cover A, which is weird. And I don't see it in here. Uh, Straight Dog is an awesome interview. Tony Fleece, the creator of Straight Dog. Oh, nice. Wait, what was the grail you ended up with? Okay, uh, this is the grail that I end up with is um, Wolverine 17. This is a John Byrne cover, uh, 9.8. Um, the first book I've ever bought when I was a kid. So that is my, uh, sentimental grail. It's, a, uh, it, it, it's more well, 9.8. It's kind of pricey, but, um, 
but it's a book that uh, I've always wanted in high grade because I bought it as my first book ever. So, uh, Emojin of the Weirding Way. So this is another um, another issue number one from Dark Horse Comics. So this is a Mike Mignola, Christopher Golden, Peter uh, Bergtain, I guess, and uh, Michelle Madsen. So yeah, uh, looks interesting. So uh, looking forward to reading that one. And this one's an awesome cover. This is a Philadelphia vampire series, and that is a wicked cover. Uh, I picked up around twenty books, uh, but new books. Yeah. So my average, my average is like roughly like eighteen to eighteen to twenty. Also, uh, Gamma Flight, another new series from Marvel, uh, from the pages of uh, Immortal Hulk. So that looks interesting. Giga, if you like robots and stuff like that too. Giga, this is issue number four from Vault Comics. Let's see here. Yeah, the Wolverine cover. Yeah, that's um that's my sentimental grail. Uh one of the books I've ever bought. Uh first book I ever bought. Just wanted it in high grain. Uh, 13 to 20 books a week for me. Yeah, it depends on the week also and um, what what books come out. Some books um, I don't follow. Some books I follow. And then there's always new books that come around. So every week seems like there's a new book that always comes out. So that's uh, kind of wears out your uh, wallet there. But I think uh, Mike uh, Evils here, Evils Comics, he did a video on um, on the vinyl and the uh, MF, uh, was it the MFK? How do we say it? <laughs> oh, the, was it MFKZ? Uh, he did a video on um, vinyl and MFKZ, like what should he drop or what should he buy? But uh, yeah, check out that video. Uh, if you, let's see, if I was uh, you, I would pick up all of the Spawn Universe, brother. Uh, you never know what cover is going to be the one you have to sell high. Yeah, it's um, there's a lot of covers, but there is the sketch cover. That one is pretty pricey already, uh, the sketch cover. Okay. Um, yeah. No worries. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, still uh, try look look for the creature from the Black Lagoon for you. So, uh, if I find one, uh, I'll send it to you, Angel. Let's see where are we at. We're missing here. Uh, that's not as many as I expected because it seems like you are on top of all the new books. Um, some of the new books I miss out. So. Um, Midtown, like if I order too late, they run out. And then if I order too early, for some re reason, when I go back, they added the new books that I wanted or that wasn't there before. So it's like, uh, the timing is like, when should I order the books from Midtown is kind of, kind of weird because sometimes they run out really quick, especially the, the hot books, the hot books run out pretty quick. If you're watching, can you please uh, tell exactly how much you spend on comics each month? <laughs> each month, um, yeah, that's a, that's a lot. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of books. Um, like 200 that came out every, yeah, uh, 200 comes out every week. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Roughly, I average around 18 to at least 20 books or so every week. Uh, I would say somewhere around there. <laughs> so that is kind of like my budget. Um, my wife gave me a budget. So, um, yeah, I, I try to keep in that budget. Gavin Flight looks awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to reading it. A uh, couple more. Good luck. This is a new one from uh, Boom Studios. So... 
I don't know. I haven't heard anything um, good or bad about it, so I'm uh, looking forward forward to reading it. So that's always a uh, always um, something to think about when you buy first issues. Like uh, you never know if it's good or not, and uh, you never know if, if it's gonna go up or not too. This is Claire and the Dragons. This is from Scout Comics. Another new issue. And, uh, yeah, getting back into The Amazing Spider-Man, this is a Chameleon Conspiracy, issue 69. I think uh, the next one wraps up the conclusion, and it's um, a pretty thick book, I think. Uh, the Blue Flame. This is issue number two from Vault Comics. It's actually a good uh, good read. I got the first issue. Um, I got also got the... The Rocketeer issue. That's um, the homage to the Rocketeer. That's the first time I ever heard of it. Okay. Yeah, it's a new series that they just came out, uh, Gamma Flight. I still can't find the where the wild things are variant and that of oh, that Gamma Flight. Okay, where are the wild things are. I think um, I saw that on Midtown, but I didn't pick it up. I spend an average about 80 and 90 every week on comics uh, at one place, but I also pick up more at eBay, okay, and Insta. So about 130 a week, okay. Yeah, it's it's a um, nice cover. Glad to have it in a high grade now. Looks over wild things cover. Okay, MFKZ. Era Comics didn't like the good luck. Okay, I guess it's a hit or miss. Some boom stuff um, I've read was pretty good, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Boom Studios is a good company. Um, they've, got, they've got a lot of great uh, titles. That's why I try and stay under 400. And I got Jerry and Caps telling me to go buy, <laughs> buy goodies. Yeah, it's hard to stay under um, your budget because a lot of good things come out. Okay. Good luck. Uh, what a little uh, teenager. <laughs> okay. Blue Flame. Yeah, Blue Flame is pretty good. Not bad. Okay. Uh, this is also a new one. This is uh, Black Hammer Reborn from Jeff Lemire. Looks pretty cool. I didn't get the first uh, series, and um, I didn't pick up the Justice League and uh, Black Hammer one, so we'll see. <laughs> This is the one here, MFKZ. So a new, uh, new title, a new book from uh, Happy Tank Six One Nine label and Behemoth. Looks interesting. Yeah, I saw, um, I saw like the movie or TV series of that. Um, yeah, it's not for kids. <laughs> I made a good uh, look, Phil. Like was oh okay teen reader okay and picked up something is killing the children this is issue 17 still um looks like the erica slaughter um origin storyline that is the glow in the dark version cover and then also got the regular cover and the last book i got is um electric black uh missed out this is a black caravan missed out on the regular first um first printing but this is the second printing nice uh, green first printing of this one is a red red color okay yeah so that is uh that is my haul and uh this one is my my grail so yeah i want to thank my wife um so this is actually like a, my father's day gift also a uh, wolverine 17 my sentimental grail yeah, love this. Uh, love this cover by John Burns. So yeah, that is my Grail. So um, next video I'll probably be doing is a uh, video of uh, another of my um, 
short boxes here. What's in my um, my short boxes here? Uh, tomorrow I will be on the Gray Man's channel, so check out the Gray Man's channel. It's Cover Slingers, and uh, 1 p.m. Central Time. Yeah, so it's Fire Covers. So uh, check that out. Uh, we are going to show some fire covers. So anything that deals with like uh, you know flames, fires. Let's see, maybe we can show uh, comics together, new and old covers. You okay? Yeah, um, yeah, we can do a show together, uh, Warrior. Um, anytime. Um, yeah, I, I can set it up. Uh, we can get together and we, yeah, we can show uh, show books. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Books or figures, and I know you got a lot of uh, figures also. I'm gonna be jealous of this whole video on your cover picks. <laughs> okay. Something's killing children. Yeah, it's um, it's a good read, and um. I noticed like all the other variant covers, um, exclusive ones, they are pretty pricey. Low rider cover. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of variants to that um, MFKZ. So uh, check it out. Just subscribe to your YouTube Evils Comics. So you got another subscriber, Mike. I think you'll be over 100 uh, subscribers pretty soon, Mike. Oh, the glow, the, the glow cover. Okay, that's the cover, uh, cover B, I think. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah. If you haven't yet, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, subscribe to everybody in the chats too. If you guys haven't, um, yeah, let the grow together. Um, just like Gary B. Uh, grow together. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, have a good Friday. Have a good weekend, guys. Um, Sunday fam day. We will see where we are going to go. But uh, for now, <laughs> take it easy, guys. Have a good Friday.